So one of the things we know is that health problems, including obesity, do run in families. So you'll often see children resemble their parents. And what we don't know, most of the work that's been done in that area has studied families who are bio biologically related. And what we don't know from that is do children resemble their parents because they have the same genes? Or is it potentially something that happened in utero when the mom was pregnant, you know, either her, her nutritional habits or stress or trauma? Uh, or is it the actual parenting, rearing, community environment that the, that the child and family are living in? And so we have the opportunity with this adoption study, it's a nationwide study of 560 families of children who were adopted at birth and are, have been living since birth with families who they are not genetically related to. And then we can study these families and children over time uh, and also study the biological parents, the birth parents over time, uh, and separate the extent to which children uh, resemble their adoptive families that they're living with or uh, do they resemble their biological parents that they're not living with and are not having contact with. Um, and then we can also start to examine the interplay between the biology, the genetics, and what's happening in the family environment. Uh, one thing that we're really excited about with this potential cluster hire is the interface of this work with the bi work going on in biology at the University of Oregon and being able to t capitalize, tap into the expertise uh, in genomic analyses and genetic analyses to, to add that to the data that we have with this sample. There are multiple genes involved uh, in in any kind of health outcome, uh, but they might, some individuals might be predisposed to have uh, different responses, different physiological responses to, uh, to, to foods, to, to chemical inputs from food, uh, and or uh, different capacity to uh, exercise, to have cardiac, uh, elevated cardiac uh, activity. Um, and so we know genes are an important piece, but they're absolutely not the only piece and they there's interactions with multiple levels of genes and there's interactions with what's going on in the child's uh, family environment and their day-to-day -day interactions and their context that they're living in. They can affect behavior but I think it's a, it's a complex you know interplay of multiple genes acting on multiple systems that affect you know small behaviors that are then maybe reinforced by the environment or modified by the environment.